Bless evening, afternoon, morning all. Welcome to Destination Jamaica. As we're gearing up for our 60th independence in a jam rock, we thought to do more videos celebrating our people in different fields. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to speak about our Jamaican inventors and innovators. So, grab a cup of tea or something nice for drink. Sit back and take a listen. Now the first person we're going to speak about is the Honorable Dr. Seely Delphine Williams. She was a pioneering physician who specialized in nutrition, pediatrics, and maternal care. She became most noted for her discovery of the child malnutrition syndrome, Kashioka. Dr. Williams was born in Westmoreland in 1893 and was one of the first women to be admitted to study medicine at the University of Oxford in England. In 1929, Colonial Medical Scientist Services sent her to work in the Gold Coast, which is present-day Ghana. While working on the West African coast, she noticed a large number of hyperpigmented children with swollen bellies and legs, and also there was a higher mortality rate among toddlers than newborns. The toddlers were usually treated for vitamin deficiency. Unfortunately, many of them passed. Dr. Williams investigated and discover Kashioka, an acute form of malnutrition resulting from a lack of protein. To treat the condition, she recommended that parents feed their children a high protein diet. Throughout her career, Dr. Williams worked in several countries as doctor, lecturer, researcher, sharing her findings in medical journals. In 1948, she was appointed advisor for maternal and child health at the World Health Organization, which is WHO. After her retirement in 1951, she continued to work as an international spokesperson on issues of maternal and child health care. In January 1976, the government of Jamaica conferred on her the national honor, the order of merit. Isn't that amazing? Did you know that? Let us know in the comments, all right? Let's move on to Dr. The Honorable Thomas Philip Leckie. Now, Dr. The Honorable Thomas Philip Leckie was born in a Portland, of course, Jamaica, in 1904, Dr. Lecky became celebrated for creating new cattle breeds that are more suitable to the Jamaican climate and terrain. At the center of Dr. Lecky's research at the University of Edinburgh, Scotland, was the manipulation of species of cattle through natural selection and mutation. He was awarded a PhD in agriculture in 1951. In the 1950s, Dr. Lecky's research at the University of Edinburgh, Scotland. Let's go again. In the 1950s, Dr. Lecky successfully developed a new breed of dairy cattle, Jamaican Hope which was a combination of the British Jersey, which was a small light feeding cow, and the Holstein, which was a heavy milk producer cow, and the Indian Swahiwal that was disease resistant and suited to the warm climate. Dr. Lecky followed his Jamaican hope success with the creation of two cattle breeds, Jamaican Red and Jamaican Black. The Jamaican Red became the chief, chief cattle reared for beef. In 1965, Dr. Lecky retired from the government service but continued to work as an agricultural consultant 
until his death in 1994. He was given the National Honor, the Order of Merit for service to the dairy and cattle industries of Jamaica in 1978. Isn't that something for somebody come up with the idea if we, you know, get a breed a cattle that suited for our climate? That's pretty brilliant. Now we're going to talk about Austin James Thomas. He was a self-taught marine bi- a scientist who led the development of land-based fishing in Jamaica. Born in Westmoreland, in 1909, A.J. Thomas was instrumental in the creation of the monosex cultivation of the African Arnal perch, commonly known as tilapia. Or tilapia, currently in the comments if I'm wrong. In 1954, Thomas led the development of local aqua farming while employed as fisheries officers at the fisheries division in the Ministry of Agriculture. At the time, freshwater fish was imported for local consumption. Thomas experimented with species or specimens rather of the African perch and the fisheries division built ponds to start fish farms. However, he was disappointed when the fish did not grow to the expected size as many remained too small. He continued in his experiments and later discovered that the male fish grew larger when reared alone in ponds. The technique proved to be successful and the adoption of monosex fish cultivation transformed the fishing industry worldwide. In November 2003, Thomas was awarded the National Medal for Science and Technology for his work in the fishing industry. Let us know if you're enjoying the video, the information so far. Did you know all this? We scientists, we are miss out. We innovator, we are miss out. Make one know in the comments. Now let's move on to Dr. The Honorable Manly, Elijah West. Dr. Manly West, a pharmacologist, was renowned for his pioneering work in the development of medicine from the marijuana plant. In 1985, Dr. West, along with Dr. Albert Lockhart, developed the drug Conosol from cannabis for the treatment of glaucoma. And as you know, glaucoma is a condition that damages um, the eye's optic nerve. Conosol eye drops reduce the fluid pressure within the eye that is present in late stage glaucoma. Conosol is noticed for its natural composition and is a quarter of the price of other synthetic, synthetic eye drops. Both men were awarded the Order of Merit by the Jamaican government in 1987 for this achievement. In 1981, Dr. West was awarded the Centenary Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Natural Sciences by the Institute of Jamaica. Dr. West passed on April 24th, 2012. All right, guys, so that's part one for now. Let us know in the comments if you learn anything new and if you want us to speak on anyone that we miss, any Jamaican innovator, inventor, scientist. Let us know in the comments and we'll definitely do the research. Thank you so much. Watch out for part two. We'll talk soon. Have a great, wonderful day or night. All right. Bless up. Stay as hopeful as you can. And remember to take care of yourself and each other.